All right, so today we are going to be focusing on maximizing the benefits of Shurdan by discussing how to use the functionalities available for controlling your Amazon listings. The first thing that we want to do, of course, is to walk you through an actual Amazon listing. Uh, this is um, <clears throat> helpful to help you understand what information is provided in an Amazon listing so you can get used to um, where to put things. So the product that we're going to be working with today is the infamous Rubik's Cube. Hopefully everyone was equally frustrated as this, uh, with this toy as I was as a child. So just to give you some orientation as to how each Amazon item looks when it's listed, for those of you who might be new to Amazon, uh, you'll see, of course, there is a title and a manufacturer listed here. Um, and then, of course, Amazon loves its bullet points. They give some basic information about the item. One of the things that is unique to Amazon is that they consolidate all of the sellers of a single item into one item listing instead of creating a listing per seller. To view all the sellers, of course, you can click on the 31 we have that are new here. And this will expand the list of individual sellers of this product. Since you can see they do vary a little bit on price and whether or not the availability of prime shipping is a thing uh, that can be happening, uh, you can see that then it gives shoppers the ability to select the one that they like. Um, when you add a product to Amazon, so if you wanted to add to this particular product, um, this will always happen if you're adding to a product that already exists. Then the information um, that you add will simply be added to this list based on the priority rules set by Amazon. All right, so on the left, you'll see, of course, that there's a collection of images that have been collated for this uh, particular item, which is why, of course, you don't actually have to provide images of your own when you're listing to Amazon. And of course, as you scroll down, you'll see a product description has already provi been provided. Um, in this case, there's been extra information provided by the manufacturer. And then in the product details section, you will find product dimensions, the ASIN, shipping weight, for example. You will also find um, item specific fields or product details that are required for certain categories, such as this one listed here, manufacturer's recommended age. Um, that is gonna be a required product detail that always needs to be listed for this type of product, which is of course a toy. And we'll be covering how to determine what those are um, and how to create those in Shurden. So uh, now that you've seen the basic anatomy of an Amazon listing, we will be pointing out to you where these fields are um, in the product listing in Shurden. Uh, but we wanna just make sure first and foremost uh, that you understand that Amazon is consolidating a lot of sellers into this single um, umbrella listing. All right, so uh, prior approval, of course, is required for listing in some categories, so do be aware. Um, some shipping methods, such as fulfilled by Amazon, also require prior registration. So please speak to your Amazon rep about what approval is going to be required uh, for your specific listing needs. Uh, if you've been working a lot with eBay or you're new to Amazon, we just want to remind you that your items do not immediately get posted on Amazon, but are queued for listing and may take up to 30 minutes in some cases to appear. All right, there are three main methods for listing items on Amazon that we are gonna be walking you through today. Listing with an ASIN is the most straightforward. Uh, it requires a title, a price, a stock, a condition, and then of course that Amazon specific ID number or ASIN. You can also list with a universal product code or UPC, which requires an addition to a title, price, stock, um, and condition is gonna require a brand, that UPC and an Amazon subcategory. You can of course also list with a UPC exemption uh, in addition to all the things that you would need for listing with a UPC, uh, you're going to need, instead of a UPC, any sort of standard identifier, such as a manufacturing part number, 
what classification your UPC exemption has been given, such as, for example, a private label exemption if you've created your own brand. Um, and of course, this does require prior, prior approval from Amazon, so be aware of that.